Hi Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. This aqua full moon tarot session is for anyone who identifies as a water sign at this time. Right at mid-August 2019, just after the full moon in Aquarius at this point. So what had come through for the collective uh, before Earth Signs? Um, and you can see this entire uh, reading it at the beginning of the Air Sign video. So the full moon video for air sign at the beginning of their video is the is the full reading for the collective. But basically what had come through um, is to keep in mind, be very mindful at this time of how your mentality, your thoughts, what you're thinking about and how you're thinking is affecting your physical well-being, your physical reality, and vice versa, how your physical health and well-being is affecting your mental health and your mentality at this time. And to keep in mind that it is a time, this Aquarius full moon, when your dreams and the things that you imagine can be ground grounded in reality. You can make them a reality. You can begin that journey if you if you choose. Uh, so that also came through for for the collective, for all of us. Aquarians, this is probably particularly true for you um, in relation to, in connection to your emotional well-being as well, your emotional ties, emotional connections, uh, the uh, connections that cause you, bring you true joy. Uh, the connections in which you truly share and, and create joy with others, familial energies, friends, loved ones. This, this time seems to be bringing emotional fulfillment, shared emotional fulfillment in for, um, for earth signs. For earth signs in general. It's also particularly true in terms of your plans for the future, your choices for your, your future, where your path is headed. So a lot of you are at a fork in the road, a choice of directions, at a brand new beginning. Um, and it's what you believe about that beginning, about your ability to utilize your free will to create your own destiny that will in turn directly shape part of that destiny, that future, those plans. What you believe about shared emotional fulfillment um, is going to, um, you know, direct directly affect how and where and when you reach that state, you achieve that state, right? And I think that that emotional wellness is is positively informing. Um, many earth signs, mental well-being and physical well-being also at this time. So 
some earth signs um, are looking at a brand new beginning, while others may be actually involved with uh, an Aries energy at this time or, or interacting closely, working closely with an Aries energy perhaps. So that is specific for, for all earth signs, the earth sign collective, the earth signs in general, and the lunatics collective. And I really do feel like it is, it was advising you all there to um, picture the emotional fulfillment that you want. If you don't feel you have a shared emotional fulfillment at this time, um, what do you want that to look like? What kind of friends do you want around you? What would you want your family to look like if that's something you'd like to manifest uh, sooner rather than later? Uh, what would you want uh, time spent with family that you haven't seen or friends you haven't seen in a while to look like? Uh, or brand new relationships or relationships that you'd like to catch up with either or, right? Just uh, picture that. Um, I really feel like it's energy that's been coming through is to, to picture it, imagine it's possible, see it, uh, be, allow yourself to be encompassed by it and allowing your, your imagination to run away with you with uh, creating those pictures and, and uh, embrace those, that as a real possibility lean into uh, creating through your imagination. So with that, we will move on to um, the first earth sign. The first one we will do is Taurus. And I, I think that's it. So Taurus at about 6.59. Taurians, it looks like a lot of you are releasing limiting beliefs. self-imposed limiting beliefs at this time around this aqua full moon. Giving up on any sort of victim mentality that you may have been uh, dealing with. Addressing a woe is me attitude in some way, whether it's yours or someone else's very close to you, affecting you. See, we have a character here who feels manipulated by their, their environment, by their circumstance. Um, and that's why I say a woe is me attitude. It's, it's sort of a martyr attitude or, again, as I said, a victim mentality. <clears throat> Feeling like one um, doesn't know how or isn't able to help one's self. So, again, that's either... Either something I see you addressing in yourself and some self-imposed limiting beliefs that I see you really releasing uh, around this, this full moon, or it's someone very close to you whose energy is affecting you. A lot of you, that is the case. You are sort of defending yourself against that type, the type of energy, um, shielding yourself from being affected by that type of energy around you. Or, you know, for those of you who are addressing that energy in yourself, um, you may notice someone treating you that way, or it's making you feel sort of defensive in some way. So Torians, those of you who are feeling uh, like life is happening to you, feeling like your circumstances are keeping you down or there is possibly some unforeseen or, I'm sorry, unseen force that is um, affecting you negatively in some sense, um, if, this is, if this is you uh, feeling like you just... Uh, can't get ahead or can't get around some some bad luck lately keep in mind and i'm sure you've heard this again and again that mercury retrograde may have been uh the culprit uh, uh, lately up until yesterday 
uh, regarding any um, transportation or technological um, types of um, bad luck that you've been been seeing but other than that even if there is uh, an unknown enemy uh, that is intentionally uh, wearing you out, draining your energy, your time, your money, your resources, your um, feeding you misinformation or, or, or anything like that, even if there is some, some unknown source of pain, keep in mind that you still do have all of the uh, tools that you need, the ability to um, protect yourself to discern who that individual is and for some of you the sensing that that is happening to you is making you defensive with others and and for some of you there's a sense of, of feeling like you've been defending yourself for so long that you you almost don't know how to stop seeing a lot of energies around you as an enemy at this time um, so some of you are choosing harsh and even somewhat disrespectful words with others around you as you are not sure who that enemy might be, who that energy drainer could possibly uh, be, where that energy draining, that sense of victimhood could possibly be coming, but or, or where it could possibly be coming from. But again, you have the ability to to block that energy, to uh, rejuvenate your, yourself, to recharge, to, again, uh, discern who might be, uh, even if there, is, you know, if there is, and it may just be a part of you, right? Um, but but uh, even if it is someone external to you, you have the ability to protect yourself, really, Torians, and I know you know that. As always, these are just things that you really need reminded of at this time, right? There is a chance that for some of you, it could be a, a younger Libra. Gemini or Aquarius, uh, and, or just um, an air-like energy, a quick-witted, smart, um, fast thinker, cerebral character in your life. Um, and again, this could be part of you, but for the, but it also could be someone external to you, and, and it could be it could be an energy that fits that description, a person in your life who fits that description, someone. This is really specific, Torians, but for some of you, if there is someone in your life who is seems to be trying to distract you from paying attention to a Piscean energy in your life, trying to pull your focus, your gaze, your attention away from a Piscean energy, I think that you will find that that Piscean energy is part of your truth and that you would regret throwing that relationship away. It looks like you have some good memories, some history, um, there's a good Tori and Pisces energy all tangled up as I dig down through the deck. Um, and so somebody who's trying to pull you away from, distract you from, talk you out of spending time with that energy, for those of you who resonate with that specific message there, um, I think it could be, it's that person who is uh, a drain on your energy. Instigating and encouraging thoughts and worries that uh, are uh, a drain on your energy. And again, this can just be a part of you. So Torians do then be mindful of 
this victim mentality energy within and without, right? If this is someone around you, don't let them guilt you into things. Don't let them get away with that. If it's you, just be mindful of any area, any circumstance that's making you feel defeated, making you feel like you can't win, making you feel, again, held down. Um, I quoted... Um, I quoted the line of a song to to another sign in another reading uh, for August, maybe even for the full moon readings that I want to say to you as well, which is um, when life hits you with a light jab, Mike Tyson strike back. Um, if Even if you feel held down, even if you feel um, pushed, right? Uh, I don't allow it to make you feel defeated. That is a choice. And it's really time for all energies, both external and internal, to own the fact that uh, you get to choose what you feel. You get to choose your attitude and your responses to whatever circumstances, right? Uh, you get we, we do get to co-create at least our reality. And um, be mindful of um, anyone that, again, that may be making you feel uh, defensive around, defensive with, have, and be mindful of any uh, areas where it, you um, have a sharp tongue because of that. But I do also see that uh, you may have a very sharp and determined mind at this time as, as well, Taurians, and we can use this to gain at this time channel that energy instead of into um delivering harsh words to those around you channel that cerebral energy into uh brainstorming sessions and really use that sharpness that mental uh agility in a different way i see it i see it leading to possibly gains if we channel that energy in the right way at this at this time And, and at the same time, it's, it's also a time to stand up for what you believe in. So if it is energies around you uh, that are acting like martyrs or trying to guilt you into things with their victim mentality attitudes, uh, you do have to stand up for yourself and, and what you believe in terms of, of, as we said earlier, not allowing those energies to, to drag you down or influence you too much. So Torians, I do hope that the needed insight here was able to reach you, that you continue to make very wise choices for yourselves moving forward. Uh, utilize the energy, the magical energy of this uh, Aquarius full moon at mid-August 2019 that is certainly still upon us to release any uh, self-imposed limiting beliefs or feelings uh, of guilt related to others, attitudes that might be like that, right? And I will uh, post another reading for us just as soon as I can. I love you, Torians, truly. And uh, thank you again for, for checking out the reading and uh, all of your support to Lunatics Tarot. Uh, again, if you need a private reading, the information is, is just down below in the description. And we are moving on to Virgo. Hey, Virgos. This reading is for anyone who identifies as a Virgo with the energy of sign of Virgo around the aqua full moon at mid-August 2019. Of course, it could be for those of you who were just fortuitously led here um, or anyone cross-watching for a Virgo, as always. Interesting, the page of air shows up on the bottom of the deck. Uh, Taurus just got the night of air there. Here it is noted as exploration and discovery in the uh, Spirit Song Tarot deck by Paulina Cassidy that we are using for your reading today, Virgos. You also have the Ace of Air, the Ace of Feathers, mental clarity and foundation it's in the reverse though suggesting that there's a need for a perspective shift
or possibly someone being dishonest with you, you being dishonest, a lie, a foot, can sometimes just be a miscommunication, misinformation. It may be a younger air sign energy, a Libra, Aquarius, or um, <clears throat> Gemini, who is just unsure of what they are saying, how to communicate their truth, a certain truth at this time. This may be an energy within you or just an energy close to you, a person, a part of your chart specifically, um, or, or just a person that you're interacting with a lot or closely in some way at this time. Uh, I wouldn't get too hung up on the signs. Um, it could just be uh, Aquarius energy coming through as this is happening for you under the influence of the um, cover of the the the, the aqua full moon, of course. <clears throat> but it, it it looks like because somebody hasn't communicated themselves entirely clearly, and maybe they just don't know uh, exactly how to. Uh, that they have um, failed to communicate something. And, and so it's, it might be a lie, as I said, or it just might be a miscommunication. It just might be a, an omission because someone's not sure how to communicate something or just, an, an, like I said, an inability to, to, to get one's point across clearly. Um, and so then, and then it looks like you're left you're left or leaving someone then in a state of, of, of lacking mental clarity. Or the really foundation for uh, security and stability in a close personal relationship, Virgos, right? For some of you, it is you. And this queen of crystals, this queen of earth, comfort and prosperity is representing you looking over at someone who's left without mental clarity, right? Or for others of you, you know, you instead could be dealing with a, a another earth energy of Virgo, Taurus or Capricorn, or this is, like I said, you dealing with some part of yourself, right, Virgos? I see that some of you are dealing with a divine masculine energy, though, outside of yourself, a boss or father figure, uh, a masculine type of uh, authority figure in your life, even if not actually a man, could be the father of your children, your father, a father figure. Um, just a divine masculine in your life in general, a partner perhaps. This queen of crystals, this queen of earth here, Virgos, she has this comfort and prosperity is represented by that and has that to enjoy because she is both creative and practical. And I see the practical side of her having to look honestly, honestly at this truth that has not been clearly communicated. And the crafty side of her wanting to engage in the same behavior. Continue to engage in that behavior or retaliate through engaging in that behavior. She's a very creative individual, and she has to keep in mind that she's normally an example for others, maybe even this younger air sign that could be a part of the picture here, Virgos. Um, 
And so to be mindful of her, her you know, using her, her powers of creativ cre creativity and craftiness um, and her, her wealth, you know, probably too, as part of that fo her foundation um, for, for vengeful things, for, for uh, evil, <laughs> for dark deeds instead of, instead of good. Uh, especially if if she is finding you know, if she finds that she's an example to someone, or that there's a significant divine masculine figure whose opinion she wants to you know who 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 she wants to stay whose good favor she wants to stay in right whose opinion matters to her. Um, so that is is what is coming through for you in this aqua full moon session virgos i do hope that the needed insight here was able to reach you i hope that um you all will make wise choices for yourselves as you move forward and i do truly have so much love for you and i'm sending love to you virgos and i will post another reading for you as soon as i can